Let's quickly recap everything we compiled regarding version 4.5, including upcoming banners, the mysterious third banner, character nerfs, free weapons, free gadgets, new furniture, TCG cards, shop updates, arch and quests and more. This video is a short summary from past discussions on version 4.5, starting with the phase 1 banners. We are expecting the new character Chiori and the rerun of Ito. In phase 2 are supposed to be the reruns of Kazuha and Nuvalet. As for the 4-star characters, there is no news about them yet. Another reliable news is the introduction of the regional banner system. This is supposed to introduce banners specific to each region, showcasing characters from the main region featured in the patch. With version 4.5 centered around Windbloom, a Mondstadt focus is expected. There is speculation that the banner may highlight characters like Albedo and Klee. Speaking of characters, Chiori's recent nerfs have caused massive disappointment among her fans. Rumors say that her elemental burst scaling has been significantly reduced reduced, impacting her damage. These changes have led to a decline in interest among players, with many hesitating to invest their primo gems in her banner. With the bad news out of the way, let's discuss the free reward in this patch in the form of a free weapon. This weapon is said to be a new polarm. In the words of multiple sources, this weapon will have impressive stats. This probably means we can expect a high base attack and a strong passive. Its unique effect is said to restore energy when its wearer does any healing. While the news of this reward seems credible, something interesting caught our attention within the list. There appears to be a mysterious new gadget resembling a hat, with its function still unknown. If you have any theories regarding this mysterious addition, be sure to share them in the comments. There's also many rumored additions to the teapot. Rumors about cat-themed furniture are circulating, including a ninja cat and a cat bed. Discussions about the upcoming Mondstadt event suggest the introduction of a brand new cooking stove with windbloom patterns. For the TCG fans, cards are rumored to be arriving soon. This adds an extra layer of excitement for the collectors of this game mode. Moving on to the shop adjustments, some screenshots are circulating online, rumored to be an update of the payment shop. They are showcasing 5-star weapons for sale, including discussions about new bundles containing weapons as well. However, these claims cannot be verified. Finally, let's discuss the anticipated Archon quests featuring Dane's Leaf. Even though he shows up around this time, ongoing rumors seem to contradict his arrival. This conflicting information has sparked many theories within the community that his appearance may be delayed until version 4.6 or higher. That concludes the information available for version 4.5. Despite being insulted as a filler update, there are still many promising features. And if that wasn't thrilling enough, let's not forget that version 4.6 will introduce the release of Arlequin. Kino. Highlights include her as a rumored weekly boss, the rerun of Fontaine characters like Furina and more. Thanks for watching. What are your thoughts on these upcoming content? 